Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Donkey. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Total War Rome 2, where I'm playing the Roman faction, House of Julia, Legendary Difficulty. So, um, as I mentioned last time, because I ended uh, the game when the new turn began, um, it was a chance that I um, wouldn't get the plague back because I got the plague on this army, um, and now I don't have it when I reloaded the game. So I was actually right about that. Um, which is a little bit annoying. I mean, obviously it's good for me that I don't have the plague anymore, but I kind of feel like it's some way of cheating, which it isn't, but I feel like it is. Um, but so be it. Um, I, um, I'm, I'm just going to have to go with that. Uh, obviously, that's always the case. My event messages are gone, which is a little bit of downside from starting, uh, like, or, well, continuing the game after have, uh, having been gone in, um, in this. But gonna have to go with it so I'm just gonna have to figure out what happened exactly if we figured out or um, met any new people or anything like that uh, I don't think a whole lot happened really um, so I know something happened we had like some sort of faction or uh, some sort of a uh, uh, skill or, or, or trait report for uh, these guys but for him and for uh, for my spy as well, but I don't know. I seem to be talking rubbish right now, aren't I? But I'm just gonna have to go with it. I'm I'm right. Um, anyway, so I think it's about time that I start attacking these guys. Uh, maybe not right now, but soonish. Um, they have a fair amount of number of troops here. That's uh, ten right there. Then they have an extra three right there, an extra three right there. That's sixteen plus uh, an extra six that they get from here, which is twenty-two units. Um, of course, Levy Freeman, probably not that good. Uh, mercenary Celtic Warriors, alright, but not great. Light Horses, very heavily depleted. Um, yeah, Celtic Slingers are basically complete crap. These guys are good, but they're general, so... Um, yeah, so this, this, I don't know, I feel like I could probably take this on. And I kind of want to. It would be, it'd be, it would be nice to have some, um, some big fight at some point, wouldn't it? Uh, so we have uh, 17 units right here. What I might do, since I can't reach them yet anyway, I, I think I'm going to move up to the border here. And I'm going to recruit two more uh, Aquitaes, because they have a fair amount of Slingers. It would be nice to actually be able to deal with that fairly uh, nicely. So that's going to fill up the army to 19 out of 20, which is actually a good number. It doesn't mean I have... or it means I have no um, uneven... or I have an uneven number of men, but no uneven number of troops, because the general obviously takes up one slot. Um, I could make another Vilate, which is probably what I'll do at some point, but I'm not too bothered. Uh, but that's going to be a nice um, army right there. That doesn't mean the spy doesn't or won't be able to do anything because we don't have the money to do anything. Uh, I can't sabotage. Can't assassinate. No, that's all too expensive. I guess I can't do anything to the town either. No, that's all pretty expensive. Well, in that case, what I'll do is I'll move her around here somewhere because I want to see if those other armies are already gone or... How far they are. Let's move her up to the crossroad. That's a good place to be for her. Uh, right, that's that dealt with. We have still got a few uh, men over here that that's I could probably command. deal with. Um, Attilia is currently one. And I think if I move out of the town, they're going to be uh, going down, which won't be good. But um, I kind of want to get rid of these guys. Yeah, minus 14. At least they're fighting me, so I can just auto-resolve this with a remaining force of... Let me, there we go, 99% no matter what I go for, so we'll be aggressive. Stab him right in the face or something. Didn't look like he hit him at all, but he's dead. What happened? Alright, good. We're gonna release them. Military traditions leveled up, so that actually was completely worth it. And we might be able to get back to town, which would be great. Can we get back to town? Oh, yes, we can. And now the town is happy again. Good. Um... And she de leveled up as well. We actually got a level up for both the general and this guy. Uh, so, weapon damage inflicted by missile units. Yeah, I think it's going to be this one again, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I don't care about that. So, weapon damage inflicted by all melee units. Again, I'm playing as Rome. I'll be mostly having melee armies to begin with. So, um, yeah, well, we're going to go with that. Um, melee, thank you. Um, and then we have an extra thing for him to get, so he can get either authority, cunning, or zeal. Wow, this guy is really low level then, actually. Neus Cornelius Scipio Asina. Because this is his first level up. Like, he, he starts with this. Um, and what's this, actually? Plus 5% morale. Wow, we have a fair amount of troops. Why would I... Why, I guess if I didn't have this one as an option, then this would be good, but otherwise there's no reason to ever get that one. 
a 40. No, yeah, we're sticking with morale. That's great. Um, and we're going to take... Uh, I think I'm going to go with Zeal. I like Zeal. Then again, let's, let's have a look. This guy, he has four. What does this give me? Cooldown rate and also enables second win. He probably gets, yeah, he gets Intimidate and Warcry from this as well. That gives him cooldown rate of all special abilities. Not really to worry about that. Second wind as well. 40. I don't know what a 40 gives me anymore. Commander. Um, but I'm going to go with um, with Zeal. Because Zeal is amazing. And the Zeal actually builds into melee attack. And shots per minute as well. So that's good. Right. So that's that army. He's going to stay there for a while. Because otherwise this town is going to be very unhappy. Um, we need to build... Uh, oh yeah, we no yeah we don't need to build anything here because we already have this. Um, religion's going up remotely fast, I believe. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, actually, we can see it here. Uh, it's going up at four point one percent per turn. So it's going to be a while, but um, that's going to be all right after a while. And then we're going to, at some point, attack Carthage here and take Caralis, which actually probably gets a decent amount of uh, defense. Eight units um, and some garrison like that as well. But also it's a, um, a major settlement, so they do actually get walls. Anyway, that's that dealt with. Now, uh, I'm not going to attack them just yet, so I think I am at the end of the turn here. Uh, I don't think anything household expands. Plus 5% morale. Oh, that's the one I just got. Okay, cool. Well, we don't want that. We'll just send that to the pool. The pool. Um, right. Units. Everyone moved except for my fleet. Uh, yeah, they're just replenishing here, which is going to take a while for them to do. Well, the main one anyway, but that's how it's going to be. And they've moved that's a little bit, command. but they can stay right here. I could recruit more men for these guys, but I'm not too worried about it. This army doesn't have to be as big as my main one, and it's a pretty decent army anyway. So I think that will be fine. Uh, he's level 2. Yeah, this guy's actually level 3. I thought he was higher than that, but level 3 is fine. Alright. Let's end. No, let's not end turn because we don't have any technology ready. Uh, I think the last thing I did was this? No. I haven't actually done this yet. I think I may have gone for... Yeah, I went for uh, physical conditioning, which gives me plus 5 morale for all land units. That's good. Um, wow, plus 15% missile damage for all land units. That's pretty good. It gives me... Arrange a combat posts and practice castrum as well, which I'm guessing is all buildings to missile infantry. Uh, actually, yeah, missile infantry damage, melee infantry, melee attack, and morale, and also melee infantry, melee attack upon recruitment. That's pretty good. Um, right, so I do want these buildings at some point as well. Um, and to get this, I need a training field, right. And training field I need that for and then I can actually already build that so um, yeah I guess I want yeah I really want Roma to uh, improve at some point so I can start doing that sort of stuff uh, this is aluminium and it's sacred ground so I think I want to build some something there at some point um, I think I was going for maritime or maritime uh, money like this one as well but we'll have a look at that later anyway for now uh, I have still not said I need technology. I'll probably do that. Um, agent recruitment costs, recruitment costs, and upkeep costs. Yeah, that's pretty important. Let's have a quick look here, though. Well, from agriculture. Um, enables the recruitment of the rank 1 dignitary. It's not really too bothered about that just yet. Plus 1 growth in all provinces per turn. Uh, yeah, that's really impo in, uh, important, actually. Minus 5% provincial capital and minus settlement domain. Okay, that's nice actually. Yeah, I, I want to definitely get that because that plus one growth. That's gonna uh, the, the earlier they get you, uh, the earlier you get that, the better. I probably should have taken it earlier than I got it now, but it's it's bad. It's not bad. I got it pretty early on, or maybe like 10, 20, No, not twenty. Ten, fifteen, max turns into the game right now. That's a very small ship. I wonder what kind of ship that is. <sighs> so yeah. That um, that was a, a good turn. Next turn, we're gonna attack that town up there, which I'm quite excited about because I think that's gonna be a really awesome battle. I feel like it's gonna be cool. I could try and siege them out maybe as well, depending on whether they want to fight me 
or not if I attack them. Um, then again, of course, in this game, I, I believe if you take if you uh, siege someone and if you continue to siege, you actually take um, attrition rather than the person inside. I think the person inside may take attrition as well. I'm not sure. It depends on uh, like you can blockade someone, but if they still have a port, then they won't take any attrition and, and they won't. Um, have to surrender either because they still have a poor so they still have supplies coming in I believe that's how it works anyway or at least they don't take attrition maybe they do have to surrender at some point I don't know either way that's that done Quartermaster report made a bunch of equities good and we're now down to 573 so we really need to watch our money the Liguria have just declared war on the Veneti I think that might be the Liguria yeah they definitely are so it's definitely a good time for me to start attacking these guys Household expands, we got plus one of 14, no, we don't need that. Uh, plus one, plus 5% melee attack skill for all assault ships. Plus 5% melee defense skill for all assault ships. Uh, for the Admiral. No, I think I'll, because uh, I don't have any melee guys. Trade gain, plus one cunning, minus gravi one gravitas per turn. That happens way too much. Nias, Cornelius, Scipio, Asina, that's my main general up here. Actually, no, that's my, my general in uh, over here, actually. Um, well, Ready so be it. Orders. Right, we have a bunch of money. And I think I could best use it on actually assassinating someone, or trying to. Um, right, so yeah, they have an, an oath sworn here. They have an oath sworn here, and I assume they have an oath sworn here. No, these are noble horses. Well, I have... Uh, Spears that can deal with horses, so I'm not too worried about that. I'd rather get rid of one of their like me. These guys are really good, so I want to get rid of them. Actually, hold on, yeah, 77% chance to poison this guy. What about this guy over here? Because I think nope, smaller chance actually, even though it's a smaller army. Well, in that case, let's assassinate this guy. 513 costs quite a bit, but for 77% chance. Definitely give it a go. Can you succeed for once and not wound him and actually kill him? Ah, he's wounded. Um, that doesn't mean he won't be in the fight. Or at least I'm not sure. I don't think he will be. Yeah, no, he won't be. And she doesn't did increase her rank, so that's good. Your skills, no few bounds. We haven't succeeded anything yet. I don't think. Well, you well, you've succeeded, but you haven't succeeded like properly. Right. Um, she has been going into cunning. Um, and Z or Zeal is good as well, but yeah, now we can upgrade one of these if we want to uh, Which will increase our chance of successful manipulation and Critical success chance when we solicit a traitor. Oh, it's an assassination. All right And also public order um, If she agrees to this, it's a better chance of evading and also extra cunning This is unlocked at level 5, so we can't get that yet or we could go for something completely new. Poison provisions, 6% casualties for all units. Uh, poison wells, 6% casualties for all garrison units. And this one is minus 6% chance of the enemy agent success chance. And plus 10% chance of discovering hidden agents and armies. Or I could, of, of course, go for one of these, which only gives one point. Um, but I'll, I'll take one of these, I think, or, or level up my... Um, uh, these don't actually give any cunning or anything like that. Actually, this one gives, uh, does, yeah, it does give cunning. This one doesn't. Um, I don't know. I think a better, a, a new one would be better. Poison provisions and poison wells. I don't really use that too much, though. I probably should, though. Um, no. Assassination. I have a higher chance of assassinating with solicit trader. And tempt for manipulation. Yeah, I think those are actually quite good. I'm gonna and public order as well. Yeah, let's let's go for that. I honestly don't really know, guys. I'm just sort of guessing here, and seeing what I like. Right. So um, I should probably declare war on these guys before I move there, because if I do move here under arms, then they won't like me as much. But of course, I've declared war on them. They probably won't like me too much either. But hey, that's how it's gonna work. Uh, Carthage doesn't hate me as much anymore. Let's see if they want to trade. Moderate. I think I already tried that actually. I don't really want to. Hold on, what's this? Non-aggression pact. Why do we have a non-aggression pact with them? If I cancel that, what happens? I don't really want to cancel just yet, but I do want to attack them remotely soon. And I assume you, you're not really allowed to just break that without any consequences. For the sake of friendship that has been and friend no one wants to trade me. I'm just going to go through them again. It's been a while. Embassy. 
Model right. Ah, there you go. See, got something out of it. I really need some money uh, right now. Anyway, I welcome so. you, worthy speaker. No, they rejected the pricks. Uh, Ligraia, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna murder you soon. Well, you don't want to anyway, so that's completely fine. Uh, Vanity, I'm gonna kill you. Syracuse, I'm Be gonna kill you soon as well. And speak as you wish. Okay, well, in that case, no thanks. Um, right. So, I don't know why we have a non aggression pack with these guys. Let's have a look here. Oh, here, right. Um, treaties. They don't like my military actions against the Etruscan League. They don't like cultural aversion post war or past war of the Etruscan League and military actions against Carfish. What did I do against Carfish? What the fuck are you talking about, man? I don't really want to break it just yet, but I do want to attack them soon. Oh, right, yeah, I went into there to declare war on these guys. I guess if I just, like, press attack on them, it does the same thing, I reckon, but... You are welcome, um, although my ancestors and people war. expect talk What else do we have, anyway? When we my client state? Hmm. Likely to success moderate, probably won't do it, but um, so we'll have a look at what all we can do anyway. Nah, I'm not just gonna declare war on them, they have no allies, so that works well. We will go to war then, prepare your souls. You go to meet your ancestors, I'm sure we will. All right, let's have a look at the stances as well raiding, ambush, fortify, and forced march. No. I am interested in just attacking them, and I think I will attack these guys because they are on the field. Um, yeah, let, let us do that. Attack! For attack! Rome! They probably get. Oh wow, that's actually really in my favor. But I might play it anyway because I want to see my army in battle here. How much would this be anyway? 67, 68, uh, 78. Sorry. 78% I would have left. No, I'm, I'm gonna fight that myself. I feel like this could be a pretty um, pretty cool battle, honestly. They have uh, two generals. They would have had three if I didn't poison that one guy. Of course, he's only wounded, so he might come. Like, I don't know how that works. If we destroy his army, then I'm sure he still comes back. Because he he's not dead, so where else would he go? The glory of Epona, the fury of Sabazios, and the warmongers. <laughs> when you go into like the the Germanic tribes and all that, a lot of their armies have like metal band names. It's pretty funny. You also have like the Greece ones. I I think I saw one called Zeus's Thunderbolt or something like that before, or Zeus's Thunderbolts even. Anyway, this is gonna be awesome, man. We haven't seen these units either. Like, there's so many. There's like 700 units in this game. I think they said. So this is all just gonna be. Everything, every battle is going to be something new, right? It's going to be awesome. The game wants to load anyway. We give you war, and in the same spirit, we will fight it to the end. Fabius, Roman statesman, facing the Carthaginian Senate. A long time ago. Alright, come on, game. Give me this battle. I want to fight this battle. They have a bunch of units of experience as well. I noticed that before, but mine are better. Uh, yeah, it's right, we'll do just fine. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, I like how it's already set up pretty nicely. So it's it's mostly a plain field. Um, I'm attacking them, so I would assume if it's anything like Shogun, or any other game, really, in the Total War series, it, they are just going to wait for me to attack them. Um, yeah, they have four slingers, <coughs> Celtic warriors, and a bunch of levy freemen. I don't know what those levy freemen actually do. Hold on. I had to take a sip of my drink. Uh, yeah, they're definitely melee units. All right. And yeah, Celtic Slinger stuff. Look as horsemen. Uh, this is not a general unit though, so nope. Just a regular light horse unit. Pretty cool. All right. Um, let's see. The army is pretty much set up, sort of how I would want it, but not quite. Um. I want a Triarii and a Principe on the right. Um, right, if I do it like this, will it work the way I want it to? I think it will. That is Triarii, Principe, Hastati, tri uh, Principe, Triarii. Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. Uh, actually, I do want to set up a little bit to the left because there's a, a little village there. Don't really want to march through that village. Alright, that will work. Up front. 
and all my cavalry oh can be on the uh, on the left. Come on, get in the good from it. Fuck you. Just go like that. Screw you. Lagatus. All right. I think we are ready. Ready to rumble. Yeah, not you. All right. Let's see. Because I think. Oh wow, low frames. Are they coming? It looks like they actually are moving forward. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Why do I have to constantly tell you to shut up, sir? Oh, there's the reinforcements. Celtic Slingers, Levy Freeman. No, nah, it's, it's a shame. I was going to say I could use my uh, cavalry to go for them, but it's not going to happen. Are they really going to... They're nearly in my range already. We await orders. Orders understood. I think that might just be... Um, I don't know what they're doing, actually. Got some Triari I hear. Or Triari. See, you hear them say them, themselves as a Triari. Where are they going? Oh, yeah, before I forget, you guys. Turn off skirmish mode. See, I don't know what these guys are doing here. Um, but anyway. Since these guys are coming for me. Let's set up properly. Sons of and Levy Freeman are right there as well. Yeah, they've got a lot of reinforcements coming in from behind. Okay, right, these are slingers. Yeah, they're actually going to be able to hit me from here. But that's alright. Triari! Triari! Um, right, let's uh, start moving up here. Like that. Um, I'll take two of them around, Bravo two of them over here. Small. And all of you are going to move right over there. Triari! Triari. I would advance into that light horse. They should be getting caught here, hopefully. And they might be. I'm not sure what they're going to do, but I should be able to just catch them anyway. Get them in the rear. Uh, Alright, so... Let's get all these men forward here. Alright. Let's uh, get you behind. Oh, there we go. General, move forward. Triari! Triari! Right. Um, I want you to just get into the slingers. Oh, there's one of those uh, oath sworn guys over there. Yeah, I'm winning pretty much over there. Most of this is already won. Actually, you guys should probably help out over there. There's a lot of units over there. You're all done over there. Go and help out them. Yeah, I took a, a few casualties on the uh, Stadi, but nothing too bad, really. They're about to go away as well. Triari! Alright, that's all done. Just, uh, oh right, that's a noble horse, that's why. Oh. Let's see, this unit of Triari! You have the densest to see there, that's not gonna help anyone. Um, right, you. I want you guys to all engage with that unit. All of you. You can chase off some men, kill them. And you can run these guys in the back. They should. I mean, they're a general, but this is probably too much for them. Yeah, they're shattered. There you go. Alright, you. Go have some fun over here. I don't know if I lost more or less than what I would have if I uh, played this myself, but I honestly don't really care too much. I wanted to fight this just for fun. Actually, yeah, kill these guys over here. There's tons of them. And generals over here, yep. Alright, let's just triple speed it. I mean, if they get kills, good. If they don't, too bad. But yeah, that was an alright fight. Like I said, lost a bunch of Astati, but... That was really, um... That was always gonna happen. Oh, these guys are killing a lot of men as well. Nice. 
Get some more experience. Oh, we have our first triple uh, or four experience guy, which is apparently it's a silver chevron. It looks more blue than anything. Oh, here's another one. Nice. And uh, our principes got three experience here. This one over here got two. And they already had one, so I guess they got two. And the other one's got one then. Wow, these guys are still busy over here. And, yeah, people are still getting murdered over here. Want to do something against them? No, I can't get to them. There you go. Well, I mean, I've, I think we got a decent bit of experience just from uh, killing all these, these stranglers, or st stragglers, I guess I think it is. It's nice that um, even your melee troops, when they're fleeing, it seems like I can catch up to most of them. What's over there? A horse. Is that my horse? I don't like it. Yeah, I lost one equity there, none there, none there, and none there. So I lost one equity altogether. That was a pretty successful uh, little battle there. Well, how are these guys still here? Are you still busy? No, you're done. All right, well, in that case, go over there. And kill the, some of these men. So, yeah, there's tons of men still running around. Well, I'm not complaining. It's more experience for me. And I really want to actually kill as much here as possible because obviously that means I'll have less to do. Oh wow, this is not good. You guys, oh, well, we're already done. I was going to say, you guys should probably stop firing. Let's have a look. Most kills here. 155, 152. Wow, there's Aquatase. Holy crap, actually. I didn't expect them to get that many kills. Uh, 163 on this uh, Hastati. Yeah, Principes and all that didn't actually do that well. I mean, 73 kills on these guys. They, I think they, they were killed one of those noble Lord dudes though. Um, so they got a fair amount of kills. Um, well, for I mean, because they fight, fought harder people. When they level up twice, so they must have. Um, I also lost 356 men, by the way, so it's not too bad. And yeah, 151 kills there. Quite good, 163. So yeah, not too shabby. I like that the equities are, are actually really useful in this. They are quite good. Anyway, I'm gonna skip the rest of this uh, cuts or this loading screen again because it seems like it's gonna take forever. All right, loading screen should be over any second now. There we go. Let's see how many of them really died. All right, so uh, these guys have uh, of all that one unit left. These guys have one unit left, and these guys have one unit left. Uh, wow, it looks like this one is completely full, but. Still, they are disbanded, so. So yeah, these guys are basically done. That's nice. Uh, let's uh, release the captives, because we are nice people. Yeah, run away. Yeah, you run away. And I'm just going to capture their town now. If I have enough we movement points, which I'm order. pretty sure I should have. We cannot follow this order. At your yeah, command. I and I should be able to auto-resolve this, really. Well, they actually... This is a, I mean, oh, it's definitely in our favor, don't get me wrong, but. Um, they got some of the, yeah, the Celtic warriors back, and Celtic skirmishers, Celtic slingers, Celtic tribesmen. But, um, no, I'm, I am going to auto-resolve this one, there's not much point. 80%, 81, yeah, we'll be aggressive. There we go. Lost a bunch of men, but I'm sure I'll get them back soon enough. All right, so there's now my town. I lost uh, 406 men. Probably could have lost a little bit less, but it's not too bad. Uh, it's completely fine. I'll just get them back. So Commander. let's take that town. Faction destroyed the Veneti. But of course they have... I think that... Nope, those guys actually disappeared. I've seen it before where it didn't disappear. All right, so these guys, I think they were probably around here somewhere. They got pulled back. The Helveti. Hel Helveti... I don't know probably the same as well um right so nice holy shit yeah we actually lost a fair amount of men here from that last battle but we are replenishing remotely fast it seems like three turns until this unit's full and that's probably the longest one except for possibly the general nope the general actually replenishes quite quickly as well so it's not too bad um right this is what i was talking about a while ago they have buildings that i can't use because they're barbarians that's probably going to happen a, long, uh, a lot as well. And they also have... What is this culture? Celtic culture. So yeah, this town is actually going to be remotely happy. And a lot of towns up here are going to be remotely unhappy because... Uh, or when I take them be because of this. Um, anyway, so yeah, you can do it like this. And then you can just uh, change it into a Roman village right away. 
Um, same with all these other buildings, or you could at least get the equi equivalent of what you have. Um, I don't think I want a field of Mars here, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, oh yeah, let's have a look here as well. This Medlin and Ganua. Okay, so these two make these three make up in, uh, a province. That's quite good. We're quite close to each other. Uh, I don't have the money to do anything with these things. Um, I probably will keep a farm, extra food, or wealth. That would be good. And um, I'll change this thing into a. Um, what do you call it? Change it into uh, to a temple or shrine. Uh, you have already moved, so you can't do anything. For um, right, so yeah, I don't have the money to do this, any of this right now. It's going to be a while before I have any money because my upkeep is just crap right now. Um, besides that, let's have a look at the town because I think it's going to be quite unhappy even after I leave. Uh, yeah, conquest minus 25. Cultural difference is minus 19. So yeah, I actually have to stay here for a fair bit or they definitely are going to rebel. The minus 25 is going to go away, of course, but then it'll still be uh, minus somewhat. Anyway, so that's that for now. Um, up here, same problem. I'm going to have to stay here for a while, so I won't be able to really do anything for a little bit. Except for get some money, of course, because now I've actually got a few turns where I can make some money. Household expense, plus one of 40. Nope, thanks. Faction encountered the Brucey. Salmon capture Potavium. Alright, the Brucey. Do you want to trade with me, Brucey? Brucey, they cannot trade. And they actually hate me for some reason. Cultural virgin, pass war with the Veneti, and military actions against Veneti. Where are you guys anyway? They're up here. Okay, they're mm, quite close to me, actually. Yeah, they're on my border. Oh, is that. That's this one then. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, there's definitely a few uh, armies on my borders here, but I'm not too bothered. I've got a, I've got a good legion here, and I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Right, so that's end turn. Let's see what happens. Carthage still constantly moving ships back and forth between Carthage or Carfago and Corrales. That's all good. I'm not going to complain because I have nothing to complain about. But yeah, um, obviously going to have to sit in towns for a little bit now to keep happiness up, which is a little bit annoying, but that's how it's going to be in this game. That's, I mean, that's just how Total War works. Always got to keep your towns happy. Um, mostly when I go north, it's just going to be that everything is a different... Like, no one is Latin. I guess... Um, I don't know if the Greeks have a different religion or if they have Latin or culture, even not religion. Because if they don't, then um, it's going to be very good to go into the Greece uh, areas or into Greece as well at some point. But if they do, then obviously it doesn't really matter where I go. But they might ha might have their own culture. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to figure that out at some point. Because my main goal is to go into Gaul, into Spa uh, Spain, into uh, Germ Germania, Germania, whatever. Probably Britain at some point as well. That's my main goal anyway. And uh, the south, I don't really care about too much. All right, so research complete, tax labor. Uh, we failed. Uh, oh, we actually got a mission issued and we failed a mission. Research the technology in the following category, philosophy. Which gives us uh, influence, which is actually really good. Uh, and also it spreads owning, col uh, owning cult faction culture to neighboring provinces, which is also good. Um, and minus 50% public order penalty due to the local presence of foreign cultures. Okay, that's actually really good. Um, philosophy. We fill the mission, the instrument of war. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Troubled populace and whatever I just took, I reckon. Yep. But first, um, philosophy. We just finished one, so it's good for us to do that. Philosophy. Uh, oh, right, that gives us that. Not too bothered about that, but the rewards are too good to give up. Give up. Ooh, actually, it might be worth going in after all, because I just noticed. That is really good. So I might want to just get this and then that. Yeah, I can do it like that. That's okay. cool. I set it up for a little bit then. Um, right. What else did I have? Nothing. Troubled populace. Yeah, we already knew that. Right, I do have uh, more money than I thought I was going to have, so I can change this to a Roman village now. Um, and I can't make a consecrated ground here yet, but I'll do that later. 
Um, and this I can't change yet because I don't have the money, but I will be able to hopefully do it next turn. So that's fine. Alalia. Yep, same. This is going to be a long time before this town gets happy, or before I can move out anyway because of the culture difference. Again, I can, like, get a third army together and then have those armies sit in, um, in towns, but... Meh. Um... Conversion to Latin province. That's, I think that's only here, though, so I don't need that too much. Uh, alright, so... Yeah, I want my spy to probably do something. How can I be of assistance? How can I be of assistance? Assistance. Uh, let's go over here. Let's have a look, because that's probably my next target. Sorry, target. Alright, they have a there few armies here, but nothing too troublesome, I guess. Short swords. They're alright, actually. It's not too bad. Oath sworn. Light horses and a bunch of Celtic slingers and the other army. Is that exactly the same? No, it's slightly different, right? Uh, yeah, same units though, but slightly, uh, slightly smaller. Can sabotage stuff, but I'm not really interested. Plus, it costs too much money, oh, really. Same with here, I reckon. Okay, military sabotage now. All right. Well, in that case, uh, move on to Genua. So I want to see what they have there. Nothing too much either. Not too bad. Can be can deal deal with all that sort of stuff. Not too bad. All right. Um. I want to have a look here. Um. I wanna I wanna see. Oh yeah, this is what I want to see. My um. My upkeep twenty eight hundred and sixty two. Navy upkeep six thirty. I could get rid of some some ships now. But then again, they, they're, I'm sure they're going to be useful for the future Ready as well. Orders. I can't believe this takes so freaking long. I guess is it my highest port? Actually, it might not be my highest port. It's level two. This is level one, level one, and Brusendium is level two. But I don't think that. Yeah, it's. I don't know, that probably doesn't make a difference then, if it's either a harbor or a fishing port or whatever. So yeah, that's, that's not going to make too much of a difference. Um, down on my money again, so I don't think I'm going to do anything. Hey, it's Korea. I wouldn't mind if someone actually wanted to wage war with me. Like, if one of those clans over there came and attacked that, I wouldn't be too bothered, really. Um... Because it seems like everyone is... It's, it's People are supposed to hate me. The people uh, of Carthage oh. love trade. We would share our love with you. Uh, I'm like I'm talking. Oh wow, 291. That's actually really good. I could use that. Um, hold on. Says the plus. What does it say? Sea trade rule will link. Okay, whatever. Um, because I'm playing a legendary. Everyone's supposed to hate me. No one's supposed to like me. Uh, so I'm, I'm confused that no one wants to wage war with me just yet. I'm not bothered by it. I I like that I'm so far. It's actually doable. She has to just attack that and go for that in turn. It's doable, legendary, so far. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be hard later on, but I know, I mean, for example, Shogun 2 legendary, the first few turns, that's where it really makes or breaks your game. If you can't get through the first two few turns, then you're just going to die. But what happens in Shogun is that clan after clan after clan declare war on you. So one, arm, one full stack army comes when you've got like half an army or whatever. You defeat it. Well, usually you do. Then the next one comes, you defeat that, next one comes, you may defeat that, next one comes, etc, etc. They just keep fucking throwing armies at you, and there's no way to retreat or to recover from it ever, because they just don't give you any time, because it's army after army after army. There's no way to go towards their lands or anything. So once you can, if you can get through that part, then uh, you're usually good to go till the, the end of the campaign. But in this game, it seems to be different. It seems to be, I mean, the beginning doesn't seem to be too difficult, but I'm sure it's going to get a lot harder later on. It has to. Because if this is legendary, then well, if, I mean, if this is going to be the entire game, then it's not that difficult. But um, I'm not gonna talk as if I'm the best player out there. Don't get me wrong. I am definitely expecting a challenge. I'm not gonna underestimate this at all. But uh, it would be nice to actually do it without too much trouble. That's what I'm saying. Right. So what happened? Blackmail. One of our family members is being blackmailed. Um, okay, we haven't seen this yet, so this is actually my main general. Um, if I do nothing, he loses 4 gravitas. If I counter it, I lose 1200 bucks and 2 senators. 
he has four gravitas or um, he has twelve gravitas right now. So if I it would be down to eight. Um, I honestly don't really know. I don't really feel like doing anything. I guess this is yeah. This is not really. I mean, he's being blackmailed, but he's not gonna. Like he's not being. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, like he's not being overtaken by the enemy or anything. Bribed. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't want to lose senators at all. I really don't want to lose 1200 bucks. I'm just going to take the gravitas loss, I think. Political intrigue. Con consequence. Their demands were refused and his reputation has been tarnished by the rumors that they have spread. Uh, investigating party. House of Junia. Okay. Or instigating party, even. Investigating. House of Junia, alright. Um. Publius Gabinius Naso. The name of one of our, your subjects is on the lips of everyone. Whether this will prove beneficial remains to be seen. Infamy. Publius Gabinius Naso. Keep an eye out for you, buddy. Tribal Confederation. The German Confederation. Lugii. Lugii. This tribe is joined with another, strengthening both their causes and offering greater protection to the people. Alright. It's good to know. Not good for me, though. Um, I think we can see stuff here, can't we? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, Publius Gabinius Neso. Infamy. He has a terrible effect on your family's influence. Minus 4%. A member of your family has been found guilty of poisoning his ward to inherit the boy's lands. What would you have, to, uh, have us do with him? Uh, let's see. What else have we got here? Oh yeah, we lost Gravitas. I guess this is my main guy. Uh, but this is also one of my generals, although he's from the House of Cornelia, he's my general. And Decimus Junius Brutus, I think that, yeah, that's my admiral. He's 45, 52 and 56, while well, these guys are actually going to die at some point soon. Then I have to take new guys. Uh, but this guy, yeah, he has to get... Uh, we can crucify him. Um, we can tar and rock him. Uh, we can pardon him. Saving a man's life can make him very grateful. I'm sure he could be persuaded to share some of his newfound wealth with you. Or we can do nothing. Do you really want to be involved in this horrible mess? A member of your family has been found guilty. Um, Crimes of Mactus warrants a serious punishment. This man is a thief and a murderer. Crucify him. Yeah, I think that would be the best thing to do. Throw this creature from... No, crucify him. Alright, I don't know what that just did for me, but... I did it. Um... And we're actually uh, just looking at the influence. We're 20%, but we're not the lowest. Uh, House of Junia also has 20%, and the Cornelia only has 17%, so we're actually not doing too bad. Um, I, I don't know what that what that just did for me, is crucifying that guy. It must have some sort of thing that happens, but it doesn't really tell. Um, anyway, lost a bunch of Gravitas on my main general, which is a bit of a shame, but it's just going to have to be that way. We hunger for battle. <sighs> It's actually, I'm, I'm quite glad actually that this is my main general up here. Although, again, he's 57, I think I said, so he's gonna die sometime in the uh, remotely short future. So, uh, town. We need to fix this. We need to make this into. Actually, no, we need to make this first. It's more important. If we have money left, then. Which we don't. Not enough, anyway. Um. Yeah, well, we'll do that next time then. Not really a big deal. The the shrine is more important, that's for sure. That leaves some money for her to maybe do something. Sabotage. An 89% chance, but it costs too much. 68% chance of arson. Not really interested in that. I want her to get some more experience, though. I could put her in the army, but... Assassinate. 74% chance for 553. Nah, no, it's, it's too expensive. I don't want to do that anyway. Uh, I want to put you in my army. Which will give you experience over time, so that's fine. Ready there for you go. orders. Ready for orders. All right, and like I said, I have a, Commander. I have a little bit of money left, but I don't think I really want to spend it too well or too much. Uh, can we recruit any new mercenaries here? No, same thing. Well, it takes three turns to get these guys. Why would I ever want to get them? Um, yeah, so that's not gonna happen. I am. Oh yeah, I need to control two provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states and military access allies. I could um, become a military ally with Carthage. 
and then I would get that, but I, I don't know. It might not be a bad idea. The thing is though, I mean, it's this town is going to be unhappy because of the religion if I if I were to um, like just let them live over here. Although actually, no, well, I, am, I am increasing the religion over here. Either way, I have nothing for now to do, so I think I will end another turn. I can actually, uh, I can show you guys, I think. Let's do this in Rome here. If I raise forces, you can see here. Um, this guy's from other houses. This is guys from the house of Junia. This guy's from the house of Junia. This is from other houses. Oh, that's really annoying, actually. I couldn't have anyone from my own house. Uh, and you can see here the effects that they have. Minus 20% slave unrest. Um, gravitas per turn and authority. That one is actually quite good. Uh, growth per turn, that's also good. And public order from characters. And Gravitas per turn, he's got Inspire, Authority, and plus 5% to the size of the commanders already have influence. And he also gets an extra Authority. Yeah, that guy is actually um, quite good. I don't want anyone right now. He actually only costs zero. That's interesting. I don't know why. I guess because he's a statesman. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I don't want anyone right now. I just I'm, I wanted to show you guys how that works. Rome, or, well, yeah, the Roman province, Italia, is still pretty unhappy. Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're going into happiness. It's plus two now, but it's not great. Anyway, I'm going to save my money, because I need it in uh, Patavium next turn. Carthage, constantly moving those ships back and forth. That's another thing, I need to... If I'm going to attack them at some point, I need to find um, the right moment to attack when they don't have a million ships over there. We can see their capital as well. Now that's useful though, because we're trading with them. Because that gives us an indication of uh, what they've got. I don't know where they're conquesting right now, or where their conquest is moving on right now. Could be in Spain, could be in North Africa. Could be anywhere. So it's difficult to uh, to tell. The Frisii or Frisii or whatever you call them, they're actually uh, in the Netherlands or well, uh, now nowadays Netherlands anyway. It used to be part of Germ Germania, I think. It was a Germanic tribe, but not anymore. Although they still talk their own damn language over there, even though they're part of the Netherlands. Royal Skiffia. Right, there we go. Let's see. Dark Deeds. When his sentence was read uh, out, the man broke down and insisted that it was not right for a citizen of Rome to suffer the same fate as slaves and foreigners. Yes, it is. This is how I rule, and you shall deal with it. Plus one public order for military presence. That is pretty good, but he's got morale. Then again, yeah, it's one of those things where I could just change it, couldn't I? I could have it now. And then I could, if I go back into war, I can have the morale again. But, I don't know, I'm just going to I'm just gonna forget that sort of stuff. Ooh, I've got another plus five morale. That's really good, actually. It means uh, if I get more armies, then I can use that again. Send to pool. All right, we have the money to now fix up this town here. Right, so we can go for either a herding ground or a farm. This one gives more food. This one gives more money. Um, we're pretty good on food, to be honest. So I think I'm going to go for more money. And then we can possibly make this shrine into um, a herding, or well, not herding, into a agriculture money shrine. Uh, one more turn until that's done, which is good, because then we're going to get that amazing uh, thing that we were going to get. <laughs> which I forgot the name of. Um, Right, that, I think that's going to be it again. I don't really want to make any more units. I really can't because if I do, I want to. I want to. I want I would have to move this army back into uh, Italy to even make the units that I want to make. Of course, I could make another general and then make the units and then bring them over there, but can't really be bothered with that. Plus, I don't want. Uh, I don't really want a general that's not of my party. Or my house. I could get a statesman. I mean, that statesman just now is actually pretty good, but... Um, what can we do here? Nothing, because we don't have... Uh, it's still building our own house. And recruits. 
mercenaries. Ooh, we've got different things here. Celtic skirmishers, Celtic light horse, and mercenary Celtic warriors. Look at the upkeep cost. These guys, especially 372. These guys, 333 for crappy melee units. No way. Um, again, I'm just going to save up money, I reckon. Uh, we're nearly going to be up to 3 here. I want it to be up to 5, though, so it's going to be a while. Still want to upgrade this, this at some point as well, so I can make this other units. And I want to upgrade that. Maybe I'm going to save up for this, so I can upgrade this. That would be very important, actually. Uh, yeah, because the growth will go up a lot. So let's let's yeah, save up for that. My turn is done either way. Well, I could... No, I don't want to use my spy, actually, because she's, she's fine in my army right there. Hey, Syracuse is taking uh, damage. They're like being sieged or something. I saw like a, I mean their flag wasn't full anymore and they were, they had like a skull above their head. Ooh, there's Sparta again on the move. They're either at war with Athens or they have a military uh, alliance because they could they just went through there. Not sure about that. <laughs> I'm glad the end turn goes a lot faster than co-op but it still takes a while. I'm not too bothered by it, it's just that I don't really know what to say during this uh, this sort of stuff. It's not a whole lot I can commentate over, really. Oh, what's going on? We have fine goods, and you doubtless have much that we would find desirable. So, are we to have trade? Um... Well, if I want to make 293 out of it, it's probably definitely worth paying them 100. As long as it stays for more than one turn, it's already worth it. So, uh, they are unreliable. The less reliable a faction is, the higher chance it will turn against you if it's against its allies if given the opportunity. Be wary of reliable, unreliable allies. Uh, allies, watch your back. Yeah, I'll take it though. 100, it's definitely worth. Uh, like I say, if it's one, if it only sticks for one turn, it'll already be more. And if they um, do steal from me, and they screw me over and then I'm just gonna attack them. No matter what cost. No matter what cost. There's no matter how much it will cost. But um, yeah, that's nice, another trade agreement. I'm actually quite happy about that because I really could use some more money. Because um, I'm just sitting here waiting for my towns to be happy. And meanwhile, other people are building up armies and all that sort of stuff. So I'm basically at a standstill. So the only thing that I can have going for me is making tons of money so I can upgrade my towns and uh, all that sort of stuff. Alright. Ah. No. The, um, the uh, second legion's guy died, I guess. That's probably my awesome dude as well. I think that's the guy over there, isn't it? Well, either way, um, other houses, House of Junia, House of Junia, and other houses, yeah. We have no choice in the matter. But if this is the same guy as we had a look at before, plus one gravitas, plus one authority, inspire, and plus five to percent to the size of the commander's already have influence, and he's not part of anyone else. Plus he doesn't cost anything, that also helps. Oh yeah, I'm up to 1,507 a turn, by the way, that's nice. Um, this guy, plus one growth, it's alright, but no. Gravitas and Authority, that's basically the same as this guy, except he gets more stuff. Yeah, Inspire and that sort of stuff. Plus this guy is from the Junior, which I really don't want to. Uh, and a Candidate, uh, that's alright, but no thanks. Alright, so now we actually get the option. We can make him uh, either a General and Bodyguard, which is basically just a, a horse unit, or we can make him Triarii. Um, so he'll still be a, ge a General, he'll still have all the abilities for a General, but he'll be a Triarii unit instead of a horseman, but I um, I feel that, I mean, a Triarii is nice, but I, I always like having an extra cap unit on the battlefield, because you can use it for flanking and all that stuff, even if it's a general, it's risky, but it's better, plus um, I can run him away from fights easier than I can a Triarii, once a Triarii unit is committed, they are committed for, for good, so I ever have a general bodyguard, so stick to that, okay, what's going on here? The man is attempting to use Roman law to save... Oh, it's this guy again. Save his miserable life. He claims that a Roman citizen should not be put to death with foreigners and slaves. Your decision should be final. Crucify him. 
What does it actually give me? Resolution, one turn. I don't know what that means. Change the sentence. The murderers are not people with the fate and have been thrown from the Tarpeian rock instead. That should put an end to his complaints. Or do nothing. And basically, yeah, get off again. Uh, yeah, we should either stick to it or or change the sentence just for funny. Like, well, not funny, but for... Um, it's a point. Making a point, basically. Well, you, you want something else? Alright, we'll throw you off the rock then. Um, but no, we'll, we'll stick to our uh, decision here. Trade gained. Plus two cunning. Minus two gravitas per turn. But that's Lucius Julius Libo. Didn't he die or something? Let's have a look. Uh, you. Lucius Cursor. What are you cursing at me? Yeah, this is a level one guy. Yeah, this is this guy. Wow, he starts with eight cunning. Are you kidding me? Holy crap. Um, oh, I guess it's because my... Um, my spy is in here as well. Maybe that has something to do with it. Um, yeah, because you can see all the manipulation, all that, plus 10% cost of performing all actions and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I guess it's because of that. Forces, uh, wow. Oh, yeah, plus 5 cunning accompanying general. That's really good, actually. What does it give me in this case for the general? It doesn't say. What I was supposed to say when I hovered over. Yeah, see, it does. It says that. It doesn't say this. Um. Either way, this guy is amazing. And that's for plus two per turn as well. Alright, and we can have one of these things. So we'll have... Um, plus five morale, I think. Well, how many do we have of those now? It's morale for infantry units. Did we lose the one when that guy died? I don't know how that works. It, we may have lost it when he died. Because I only have one to choose from right now. Probably well, this one as well, but we didn't have that one. We had another one. That's not too... Uh, I don't like that too much. If he loses it. Population surplus in Magna Gracia, so we can upgrade that. Um, construction report. That's all done. Right, I think we still need to... Oh no, we already did that. Yeah, we're just saving up for Rome. Uh, to upgrade Rome. Right, so we can do something here. Um, yeah, we have four here now. Uh, we could do that. I mean, this is our main town, so it would probably be a good idea. What would I want to build here? I guess yeah, the thing that the, the the thing that makes me money or something actually takes uh, yeah this one the public forum culture money um, or wealth from industry I could do that oh wow that's nice actually aqueduct but we need concrete for that which actually I think probably takes a while um, public forum which we can increase into other things wow a whole lot of things actually. Uh, wealth, 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 tariff from trade agreements, wealth, 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 yeah, a lot of wealth. Let's see what the other thing gives us, uh, here. Um, the suburbia can go into wealth or wealth. And, yeah, obviously it's going to be more and more wealth. That's a lot of wealth, though. But, um, I'm going to go for the public forum. That's good. Upgrade this, but no. Oh yeah, that does mean I cost me some money again. Oh well. Um, let's see, what does this guy have got for Commander. traits anyway? Commander. Details, traits. He doesn't have any traits yet, right? I guess because he's new. That works. Um, right, again, I have some money, but I don't have anything I want to spend it on. This town is now becoming into 8 happiness, so... Is... Uh, possible to move out our army at some point in the near-ish future. Cultural is going down a lot. Well, it's 83% still, but I think once the church is going to be... Oh, church is already done, so actually I do want to improve this church here before I uh, go into Rome or fix Rome up. Free public order and free culture. That's actually very good. I think I might go for that. This is for public order and two culture. Um, now we'll go for that. That one's better. Well, not necessarily better, but I prefer it in this particular yes. case. Alright. Let's end another turn. I have to actually check what time it is, because I think... Yeah, this is going to be my last turn, I reckon. Lots of boats going around. See, yeah, I, I should have checked Syracuse. You can see it over there. It's constantly... It's got like a... See there? Skull over its head. I don't know what's going on over there. Why would they be suffering attrition right now? Makes no sense to me. There's Sparta again with their massive armies just marching back and forth. 
Your Verney accents over there. German Confederation. Yeah, they're not. They're not actually um, the uh, Swabi anymore. They're now the German Confederation because I matched up with a bunch of other clans. Unless the Swabi was before then, and there's just like a different German Confederation. I'm not sure how that works. I I, I didn't pay attention too much, but um. Either way, German Confederation. That means if I uh, if I attack one of those clans, I'm gonna have a bunch of people who don't like me. But it doesn't mean like uh, if I'm if I was to play uh, a Germanic tribe, for example, I can do the same thing. Ooh, in a non-aggression pact. I have pact. talked to a wise woman, and all speak of a treaty, and our elders see greatness in you. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Do you want to pay me something? Well, a thousand's not gonna happen, that's for sure. Uh, can I... Can I not change the number? I guess I can only go through thousands. Why can't I change the... Really? They, change, they took that out? That's weird. Well, a thousand, I guess. Do you want to pay me a thousand? No? Alright. Well, honestly, I'm not too interested, thank you. Because you're definitely still on my list of people that I want to kill at some point in the near future. Then again, I probably should have taken that. Oh well, whatever. Because I, yeah, I don't have to necessarily go east. If that's the difficult thing. Once you come out of Italy, there's so many ways to go, and you only have well, I only have one army right now to to send somewhere, so I can't just go off all nilly willy like everywhere. I have to actually choose one place and then hope that I don't get backstabbed or I have to follow up another army. Because now it would actually be a decent idea to have another army, but. I really don't want to afford more upkeep costs right now. So I'm not going to do that. Rugby. Sardis. Oh, that is real skiffy again. How weird. The same clans constantly. What the hell? Alright. What happened? Oh, probably you're going to have yeah, a noble death, this guy. Oh, natural causes. I think someone died. Sad. I actually confused that a little bit. At first, I thought it was the thing. Um, oh, I said it's my first legion, actually. Uh, I thought it was the thing that um, uh, from that guy that I like sent to be crucified. I thought it was that thing. That's why I saw it, not this guy again. Anyway, um, we have House of Junia, House of Junia, and House of Cornelia. So we have to choose a damn house. My house. In the middle of the street. Oh wow, this guy, 135. I kind of want to take him because I don't want anyone from the house of Junior because I hate the Junior. Anyway, Gravitas per turn and Euphoria. This guy is pretty good though. Uh, this guy, plus one growth per turn for a local province and also a public order. And this guy, minus two Euphoria, minus 20% slave unrest, plus one Gravitas, War Cry, plus two Zeal, which makes him very strong. Minus 50% because of the Euphoria, minus 50%. Uh, to the size of the commanders already have influence and because of the seal plus 10% melee and missile damage. I don't know. This guy is... I mean, I'll, I definitely like him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that there. Yeah. Because of the zeal, he's quite good. And he also gets um, Slave Unrest and Gravitas per turn. And War Cry. Because, he's, because of the zeal once again. The zeal! Um... Yeah, this guy is out of the question. This guy is good as well. He's more basic than this guy. I think I'm going to go with Marcus Atelius Regulus. Take him. Where are these guys anyway? Quintus Cornelius Bassus and Sextus Sentius Cursor. Now we'll have uh, Marcus uh, Atelius Regulus. Dark Deeds. Ah, there we go. Support. Plus 75 senators. Holy crap. That is a whole lot of senators. The man was crucified, but to appease his fears of being mistaken for a foreigner or slave, his 
cross was painted white and placed higher than the others. That's fine. Um, but that is amazing. Let's have a look here. 34% influence of the senators. That is amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Right, so uh, Lucius Julius Libo. Wounded. Is he wounded? What? Oh, that's why he's not... That's why we needed someone else. Secure promotion. Minus 5% upkeep cost for all land units. Use your influence to promote this character to a higher office. Next level military tribune. Support minus 5 senators. I don't really, I'm not really interested in that. Oh, I can have these guys assassinated, for example. He's pretty crappy, by the way. So that wouldn't even be a bad idea. I haven't even seen these sort of options yet. Uh, one turn until he's not wounded anymore, I guess. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure what's going on, because... I, that's the guy that controlled this army. Commander. Uh, but we took... We got a new one, who is actually really good. Um, so once he's not wounded anymore, will he take over again? And then maybe if that guy dies, then this guy will take over again or something. I'm not sure. And then Ready over here, orders. we have a new general as well. This guy is... Marcus Atilius Regulus, yeah. Who, um... Plus one gravitas return. Oh, that's why we don't have the plus five percent morale back because he's not dead. He's just he's just wounded. That's why we need the new leadership because he was wounded, not dead. I get it now. Right. So what do you have? Plus one gravitas per turn. Oh, right. So that's a tutor that he had. That's so. That's not something that. Like when I chose him, I chose him because well, one of the reasons was because of the plus one gravitas. But that's just his household, so I can still change that if I wanted to. Um, we don't have anyone with extra, I guess I could do morale for all infantry units. Wow, a lot of inf uh, authority ones. Um, public order, I could do that because I am in a town where we need public order. But then I'm just going to uh, forget it at some point. Wow, it's actually quite happy now. I can probably move out here soon, actually. Didn't even notice that. Um... We'll uh, take morale for all infantry. And next turn he's going to be alive again. Household expands, plus one gravitas per turn. Yeah, see, that's that's what I got then from him. Construction complete. Uh, the herding f ground, which is over there. Cool. Um, Alright. Oh, faction destroyer. Who was that again? Pontus. Oh, that's interesting. Alright. Um, so yeah, I can actually attack Corallus now if I wanted to. I don't really want to yet. Again, that means I have to wage war against um, Carthage. And if, if I do decide to do that, this army does have to be a little bit better than what it is right now. It has to be probably similar to the other one. 19 units strong. Two more Equites. Two more um, Triarii and two more Principes. Probably, well, probably even better than that, but that, that would do for a while. This army is getting... See, the Thunderbolts of Zeus. I knew I saw them before. Um, right, in that case, actually, if I can move out of Ready here, I think I should be able to. Uh, details. Yeah, because they are happy, and the oh, military presence is 19. But I think that might be partly the uh, the ships. Six ships. Yeah, because I have uh, 13 units, six ships. So if I leave the ships there... Then it'll still be six, so I would only leave with thirteen points, and it is currently thirteen, so it would be exactly stable. But next turn it would be plus one because the provincial instability is going to go away, um, and cultural is fading slowly as well. So I think I will do that. I will start moving them back to uh, Neapolis. And is it right? Oh, it's actually still one, so even better than I thought. That's good. Um, so next turn I'll be making some more units. That does mean I won't again not be able to upgrade this. So I can make this now. Uh, but I don't think I will. I could upgrade this. Yeah, let's, let's do that. 1200. That's fine. Is there anything I can upgrade here? No. Right, I'm going to end the turn. And then I'm going to end this episode. After we uh, start the next turn, obviously. And then, uh, yeah, a few turns from now, we're going to be attacking Carthage. Which is going to be... That's that's probably going to be our first major challenge. Of course, we will have an entire good army to deal with it, but... 
one good army. I don't know how much they have. That's the problem. And again, they have two. Oh. Come now, let us debate this matter like civilized men, and then realize that a treaty would be sensible. Um. Right. Are these the guys that offered me it before as well? Am I trading with them? Yeah, I am. I think that's the same guys then. Um. No, no. These are because these are loyal and cautious. Well, in that case, um. Yeah, I um, I will take that actually. I have no need to attack these guys for a while. So what does it actually mean? Slightly improves the relationship between factions and idea first step in building good relations. All right, sure, I'll take it. I'm not gonna go that way. I might even offer those other guys one at some point as well. But we'll have to wait and see on that one. Anyway, I was talking about Carvage. Yeah, they have their two uh, protectorates as well. So it's gonna definitely be a, a tough one. If not too tough, but I can always make up another army. Like I said, I do have um, enough money to make somewhat of another army right now. I have enough uh, upkeep or um, income right now because of the trade. Of course, if the trade fades, then so will the army. But that's all for the future. I think we'll, we'll, we should be all right against Carfish, and if we can beat Carfish, that that means we, we're gonna have a lot of. Um, good things coming because Carthage is a, a big faction obviously <sighs> alright here we are, oh slaves, there's actually slaves now they weren't there before ready to command, Lucius Julius Libo his wound sealed, this man awaits the chance to command your forces again uh, I kind of want him to, I don't know if I get the decision to do that, what's going on here Oh, I guess we're just building. Trade gained uh, minus two of forty and plus one zeal. Not quite right. Is this important? Bzz, bzz, I haven't made nearly enough money today. Bzz. Lucius Papyrus Cursor. Who's that? My second guy. Oh, that's this guy. Well, in that case, uh, actually, he we he's, for battle. he's really good, isn't he? Oh no, it's not that good actually. Well, anyway, um, can I like switch the replace? I don't really want to waste this, but... Uh, can I choose my old guy again? Yeah, Lucius Julius Libo. That's my old guy. and he's Yeah, you can see he's three stars already as well. Um, and I can actually just change him with someone else completely. I don't know if this, like, makes me... If, if this uh, decreases relationships or something. It doesn't really say anything about, about it, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, yeah, you're that guy again. So, um, yeah, now we have our old general back, and I assume this is still the same. Yeah, see there, that's where our plus five uh, morale for all units is. He does lose minus two, yeah, he's zero gravitas. He's 60 as well, he's probably going to die soon anyway. But that's fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to redo that next time, because I just forgot that I'm ending the episode here, so I have to redo that. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching, I shall... Uh, Oh, that's too quick. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I shall see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.